Travis Cook with you once again, and I'm coming to you today from the studio where we ordinarily take my weekly political program, America's Evil Genius. We're making arrangements right now for Tuesday night when I will be delivering a official response to Barack Obama's State of the Union address. Uh, but while we were here, I did want to take a moment to answer a couple of questions that I'm getting from some of the wrestling fans out there, from some of the fans of the Travis Cook organization. I have received a lot of uh, Facebook messages and emails and so forth recently asking why Mr. Unpredictable Dave Vaughn and Iron Man Ken Casa have been absent from a couple of recent Dynamo Pro Wrestling shows in the state of Missouri and why I have not been there. Well, I wanted to touch base on that this week and give you uh, the answer and the reasoning for that. Now, uh, at the risk of giving you a lot of backstage information or, or inside baseball, if you will, uh, there are a couple things that, that you need to know uh, about why we have not been there. Uh, a lot of fans may not realize that there are some states in America where they have an athletic commission that regulates professional wrestling and MMA and boxing and some other things like that. Uh, and they regulate those sports beyond the point that the individual promotions uh, regulate them. Now, not every state has a commission like that, but Missouri is one of the states that is commissioned. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, we have murderers and rapists and illegal aliens running around all over the place. Why is the government wasting their time regulating professional wrestling? And you would be right to think that, but nevertheless, Missouri is one of those states. And for some reason, I can't seem to get Dave Vaughn and Ken Casa licensed in this state by the Athletic Commission. And I've you know, asked them several times, why won't you license them? I've asked for hearings. I've had my lawyers going back and forth with their lawyers. And that, uh, you know, that whole process is dragging out as it always does. And so that's why we haven't been there. But what you've got to understand is this. The Athletic Commission in Missouri, just like any other government regulatory body, always ends up moving beyond just enforcing a few rules and regulations and always ends up moving towards being used by those who are politically connected to harass their enemies, to harass those more successful than them. And that brings me to Mark Bland, the Dynamo Pro executive vice president in charge of whatever the hell he claims he's in charge of. I don't know what his exact title is. He's a pencil pusher. That's what he is. And ever since he's been there, he's tried to run the Travis Cook organization out the door. He, he's upset at the fact that his tag team champions, the Bum Rush Brothers, Shorty Biggs and Outkast, can't seem to get a win over the Travis Cook organization. So don't think for a second that I don't know what happened here. A lot of you people may not know, but Mark Bland, in addition to his, his time in the wrestling business, he is also a radio talk show host. Not only is he a radio talk show host, he is a flaming liberal radio talk show host. So he and I have had problems outside of professional wrestling for a long time. So don't think for a second that he didn't call up the office of our Democratic governor in this state and have him get that athletic commission to stonewall us, keep us from getting licensed for no good reason. Oh, not give us a hearing. Oh, drag out the process. That's what's happening. As it always is, people like Mark Bland and liberals like him love to use the government to obstruct those and destroy those who are more successful than them and take from those who are more successful so that they can build themselves up. Now, I could allow this whole legal process to, to, to take course, and I'm doing that, but that's going to take a while. It's going to take months, maybe years. You know how the government stalls things. But I'll be damned if I'm going to sit on the sideline and just wait for the legal process to play out. Yes, it's happening behind the scenes. But February 1st, down to the Stratford Bar and Grill in Fenton, Missouri, where I know all the drunks in South County go to get obliterated all the time, Dynamo Pro is having another show down there. And I know your bum rush brothers, your alleged tag team champions, who we've beaten every time we've ever been in the ring with them. We've even beaten them in the streets a couple of times. We know they'll be there. And I'm just going to leave you with this. One way or the other, I'm going to do what it takes to bring home the tag team championship belts that I have earned long ago. I am the Achilles heel for your tag team champions. You can look back at the record books and confirm that. So you may have kept us temporarily from becoming licensed in the state, 
but you can't keep me from having influence. And the State Athletic Commission cannot keep me from getting what is rightfully mine. See you on the first. <laughs>